Could have got a sandwich. Thanks for being with us, everybody. Thank you. Good night. Have a good weekend, guys. But, but seriously, like, we have like four and a half hours worth of stuff here that I have to edit down into a one hour show. And I, I, I keep telling you guys it's got to be quicker. And the last time it was it was um, only three hours. So. Our, our research says more is like a four hour podcast is probably a good idea for us. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just saying. Yeah. I like an individual podcast to take up eighty percent of a person's iPod. All right, so see you guys in a couple weeks, Chef. Yeah. Right. Get out of your way. Yeah. Thanks for having us. Yep. Dear Tom Morello, thanks so much for the interview. I thought it went real well. By the way, with all the music and projects you're involved in, you must have some extra cash burning a hole in your pocket, I would imagine. What would you say to a sizable investment in Newswigs Radio and my new line of whoopee cushion mouse pads? Maybe a uh, rage against the mouse pad type thing? Hmm? Yeah, we can work on it. Anyway, it's time for me to move onward and upward. Note to self, interview with Langhorn Slim reveals he is working with a subpar bass player. I mean, he's competent, yeah, but certainly not on par with my ability as an accomplished bass player. So my to-do list this week. One, create list of notes I can play better than Slim's bass player. Two, hand deliver said list to Slim. Three, wait for lucrative recording deal. Oh, and four, sever all ties with Jeff and Todd. Time for me to move onward and upward. Dear Diary, I had the bestest interview with Jim Gaffigan today. I think our listeners are really going to love it. Super brainstorm just now. Me, Jim Gaffigan, maybe Mike Birbiglia, our own podcast. I think those guys would be a great compliment to my superior hosting skills. That's right. It's time for me to move onward and upward. <laughs> onward and upward. Onward and upward. <laughs> <laughs>